One of the most incredible features about Photoshop Elements is Layer Mask. And that's what we're going to look at today, Layer Mask. So, the first thing you need to know about Layer Mask is you need two images. So, I'm going to use this dolphin image right here. And my second image is going to be a, an image of sharks. And I put some pink in there so when we're looking at smaller versions or thumbnails, we can easily tell them apart. So, the first thing I need to do is grab the Move tool and left click, hold, and drag my shark image to my dolphin image. Now you have to understand we don't have two more we don't have two images anymore. Now we have one image with two layers. So the first thing I need to do is position everything correctly. I want my shark, that shark at the bottom is what I'm going to use with the layer mask. And the next thing I need to do is drag this shark image to the bottom. So I'm gonna drag that. I want my dolphins on the top. Okay, because that's what we're gonna work on is the dolphin that one right there. So there's the layer mask button. I just clicked on it. And there's that layer mask. That white box is actually the layer mask. The next thing you need to do is make sure that the black and white colors are showing. If not, I'm going to change the color. If you have a different color, what you want to do is click on this little itty bitty black and white swatch and it'll change it back to the black and white colors because you need to start off with the color black. So we're going to draw and hey, wait a minute, it's not working. That puppet told me this would work! Why do I listen to that puppet? He's crazy! Well, let me show you why it's not working. Again, you need the black color to see the image below. You have to have the layer mask selected. See the selection around it? You have to have the layer mask selection or it's not gonna work. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back to the image now. I've got the color black selected. And now, when I draw with the color black, I can start to see my image behind the dolphin, which is the shark. Now what I can tell right now is that's too bright. It doesn't look, it won't look right. So I'm going to go up to the opacity. And if I turn that down, it's going to definitely uh, make it a little bit dimmer. And as you can see, now it looks a little bit more natural. So I'm just left clicking, holding and dragging and drawing my shark into this dolphin image. And, oh, would you stop that? You're, you're making me dizzy! Stop! Oh, okay. Alright, so, uh, as you can see, my shark is appearing. And, uh, again, I've got the color black selected, and the color black lets me, um, see to, into the image, the second layer of the image underneath my main image. So now, what I need to do is to touch this up. You always really have to do this. Now I'm going to switch it to white. And white does the opposite. White is going to put back the original image. So this is a great uh, combination because as you can see what I'm doing now, is I'm just going around the perimeter to mend this shark into this image uh, really basically flawlessly uh, by putting back a little bit of that, that natural first dolphin image so that my shark is... Oh, I made a mistake! Oh, what do I do? I went too far. Well, just hit, you know, control... Z on a PC or Command Z on a Mac. That's a universal undo. Okay, and now you can see um, this is starting to look really good in my image, and that's basically it. That's how you use a layer mask in Photoshop Elements. It's really a great feature. Please practice with this. Watch the video again. Learn the process. It's a great editing feature. I love it. I love this feature. It's one of my favorites in Photoshop Elements. There's the original again. There's my uh, first picture with the sharks. And there it is, uh, as you can see, as I've used the layer mask to get the shark in the dolphins. Bring a little terror to you guys. Sorry. All right. Well, let's bring back the shark. Thanks for watching from Info Puppet.